Hey everybody, we're up here in British Columbia. It's our first night. I got my buddy Dusty behind the camera. I'm up here with my good buddy Nick, who has done a lot of guiding with us in the past and uh, just got his own outfitter business, Chicolton River Outfitters. And up here in a totally new area, super cool spot, uh, beautiful country, and spot and stock black bears. We're riding bikes. We've done a lot of miles. We're up in some beautiful country. Crank it. A bit of a hill. And uh, we're just, just trying to cover miles quiet and wait for wait for a bear to be right around the corner. Ease off the bikes. Slip in for a stalk. Fun. Got a really big black bear. Just came out. We gotta slip down here. He's out in the wide open. So we're gonna have to kind of just get to the edge and see what he does because we're not gonna be able to slip through the middle of that. But really good bear. This is important because you get in here and you get real close to stuff like this. I mean, we were we were so close to this bear, he was looking right at us several times, never even saw us. But being able to close that last gap with some, by sleeping your boots off, slip down here all the way from way up high, I spotted this bear and we just slipped down this old, old farmer's road on the sand and then this is pretty important. We slipped down this road and obviously the bear was out there. You don't want to be, you don't want to be out here in the open because if that bear picked his head up, we're silhouetted. So what we did was we just came inside just a little bit. Literally the only options I had here was this tree or to get into that. I figured because if we got into there, it's way more likely to have fewer shots because of the branches and it looks noisier so i chose this route and as soon as we got off that sand i just slipped my boots off picked the biggest tree i could find right here biggest tree and just kept that tree between me and the bear the whole way and then uh, just waited for the bear to come in just kept checking the wind I literally, I think I shot him about right here. And as soon as he rolled, he can see that rage tripan absolutely devastated everything. There's my arrow. I had great penetration uh, on a bear that size. Huge, 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 huge black bear. Couldn't ask for a better hunt. Um, I'm up here with our buddy Nick, Nick Yarish, and uh, and Nick bought this brand new guide area and asked me to come in as his very first hunter. Uh, some of this property hasn't had people on it in over 30 years, but uh, Nick has an unbelievable operation. Obviously, he's got bears that are going to be world-class black bears, and for bow hunters, 
trying to do spot and stock. You couldn't ask for a better, better thing than this. And I really feel like a big factor in that is my Hex product. Hex is a product that is proven to eliminate any of your electromagnetic emissions that you give off your body. And in certain industries, there's been a ton of science that shows that certain animals, especially predatory animals, can see that. I, as a hunter, have had a ton of times throughout my career where everything was in my favor. Wind, uh, any type of scent that was on the ground, my movement, my camouflage, my background, everything. And without making a single sound, I've had mature animals, whether it's whitetails or elk or bears, just look right at me or just sense something and you can see they get aware of something and they just bolt out of there. And for the longest time, I just said some animals just have a sixth sense. And I believe that this technology is our answer to that. I was 50 yards from a from a bear out in a wide open field with nothing but a small birch tree between me and him. And he looked my way several times and never even stopped to look at me for more than a second, just looked past me. And that's the experiences I've been getting. So I can't say enough about it. Nick's got quite the place and certainly a place I'm gonna come back to, no question.